was yesterday. I ought to have one by now. Yes! Calvin, I'm not calling you again! Hobbs, Hobbs, wake up, wake up. We have to go downstairs or else Mom's gonna start yelling. We're late already. Oh, yeah. You have to go to school. Yep, come on, last one downstairs is a rotten egg. Mmm, I love these chocolate frosted sugar bombs. Here, try some. Too sweet. They're actually kind of bland until you pour some sugar on them. Calvin, time for school. Time to go. Okay, bye, Hobbs. See ya. Okay, class. Today we're going to have a short test on the pilgrims. Now it's a short test, but you cannot look up your answers in the book. You have half an hour to complete the test. Half an hour? Are you kidding me? That's not enough time. Calvin! I hear the satisfaction of teaching makes up for the lousy pay. I understand that my tests are a popular reading in the teacher's lounge. Oh no, my mom packed me a piece of pie. She hates me. I refuse to eat it. Don't you like pie? Not this kind. What kind is it? Cow pie. Mrs. Warmwood! Want it? It's fresh. Space man, space is flying through the galaxy. Oh no, an enemy! Space man, space tries to flee, but the enemy is just too fast. Oh no, our hero is going down. <laughs> Those darn little guys are hard to hit. I hate dodgeball. Hello? Hi, Dad. It's Calvin. You're supposed to be at school. I am. Are you alright? What's the matter? Why are you calling me? I told the teacher I had to go to the bathroom. Quick, what's 11 plus 7? Your homework is to write a report that presents both sides of an argument and to defend one side. It's due tomorrow. Good luck. I need help with my homework. I need to write a paper that presents both sides of an argument, but I don't know what to argue about. Well, that's hard to believe. I'm always right, and everyone else is always wrong. So what is there to argue about? Well, we better put our thinking caps on. Thinking caps. Come on. Well, all set. But Zap. Wow, I feel smarter already. Calvin, dinner time. Ugh, let's go. Ugh, what is this? It's spinach tortilla pie casserole. Try it. Yeah. Well, I figured out that I'm going to write about Tyrannosaurus Rex, fearsome predator or loathsome scavenger. What will you defend? Predators, definitely. They're so much cooler that way. Now all I need to do is write everything I know about Tyrannosauruses. It'll be a breeze. Great work, Calvin. You've got an A. Ugh, I have to make a leaf collection for school. Fifty leaves in all different kinds, too. When does it do? In two weeks, but I'm booked until th next Thursday at 6 p.m. So you need 50 leaves in one hour? See? Impossible! Oh, the leaf collection's due on Friday. You haven't even started. I work better under pressure. You work only under pressure. Oh, my leaf collection's due. Well, if you hadn't have held this off to the last minute, this wouldn't happen. I wish there was a way out of this. A, a UFO. UFO! Take us to your supreme earthling potentate. Um, well, speaking. What luck? It was I who chose the landing site. 
Kudos for Navigator Nebular. Why did you come? We are taking over the world. But let's not be hasty. But I traded the Earth for 50 alien tree leaves. Galaxoid, these primitive fools must use leaves as currency. It's a deal. Okay, well, I'll need them by 8 o'clock tonight. Labeled and identified. Hurry, Nebular. We can just make it if we use the FTL drive. Well, Mrs. Wormwood didn't believe that my leaves were from an alien planet. She said that I just took 50 maple leaves and cut them into odd shapes. What useless knowledge. I believe that's poison sumac that you're holding. What makes you say that? <laughs> Gym scene number two, close up of Kelvin. Take one, action. <laughs> 